Hey guys, hi. Today I'm going to show you how to use JMB Plot in Windows. So first, for before using that, you have to install JMB Plot. And for beginners, I'm going to show you how to install JMB Plot in your Windows. So basically, this can be applied for Linux systems also, but uh, you have to install it using command or you know any app store of uh, Linux distributions. And uh, go into this download.html and just uh, to, uh, click on this primary download site on source code. The source code is a site which has many ports. So 4.6.5 is better, no problem. Uh, just click it and go for this setup.dat. So as soon as you click this, the download will start. It's, it's downloading in 4 seconds. I've already downloaded it, so I'll show you. So this is the file I've already downloaded. You can double click it and uh, proceed through the installation. After installing it, you have to open your GME plot. So if it's on your desktop, it's fine. Or you can go to the search bar. I'm going to the desktop, and here the GNU plot is there. So the GNU plot is open now. So you have to plot uh, some graph in this GNU plot. So for plotting the graph, you have to store some data. So I've written a program already, and this program is uh, basically for plotting the trajectory of a projectile uh, 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 thrown at in some obtuse, like oblique angle or something like that. So I have written the program for many handles. Now I am going to show you for a particular handle. This is going to write many text .dat files. I am storing in .dat files. Okay. So I have stored everything in .dat files. Let me show you. So these are the files I have stored and the format is something like this. You write a number. Um, you write a number. Give a space and write another number to, to be plotted. This uh, You can plot uh, these things. One column one column versus other column in uh, in GNU plot for differentiating in the columns the space is needed okay so in your GNU plot if you wanted to plot this you have to change your directory for changing your directory there is a command cd and then you have to give a single quote and then uh, type the file uh, path they want to change so I want to change to form p and then ch31 so it, it has changed the directory if you uh, are not familiar with this command, there is an option called change directory, then you can click that and just click uh, where you want to change the directory. So I've already changed the directory, now I want to plot uh, some file. So I've shown you the file, right? So I'm going to plot that text.dat. This is the dat file. Now I'm going to plot uh, the first column in the x-axis. So 1 in the x-axis is to 2. This says, using 1 is to 2 says that plot the first column of the array in the x-axis versus the second column of the array in y-axis. So once you plot this, you'll get it. So uh, you're familiar with this, right? The projectile motion. Yeah, so yeah, I have uh, plotted this first column in the x-axis and second column in the y-axis. So that I've got a trajectory of the projectile uh, thrown at some obtuse angle. And you can do many things like that. You can plot 3D graphs, you can plot many things, you can plot points, lines, everything. So knowing more about GNU plot, just type help and you'll, uh, you'll be provided with a directory uh, containing everything about GNU plot. So yeah, this is a uh, like, uh, brief introduction to GNU plot and thanks for watching guys. Make sure you in my next video. Bye.